But I was I was sitting with that because I was like, what is the responsibility of 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 us, all of us, right? To hold people accountable in society to to behave better. There once was a time when people only did the the bad things behind closed doors, whether we're right. talking about uh, abuse of their spouse, you know, child abuse, or all of the 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 horrible things. And they could go put their suit and tie on, go to work, and was, nobody knew anything, right? Everything was kept inside. The home, sure. the racism, the the, the, the clan activity that y'all's you know, father, grandfathers, forefathers participated in. No one knew. They were judges and, and you know, high le- level officials, right? right? That it was kept inside. Now it's outside. They're on them streets. They they march in. They tell the mm-hmm. people who're not going to replace them. What is our responsibility as human beings storming the Capitol? Same people, in my opinion, hosting on Fox. Like they got whole platforms. No, this, this is serious, right? So mm. uh, we all know that Fucker Carlson got um, fired, right? Wait, and- wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. What did, I, I, I was listening on Friday and I thought I heard you say what I think I just heard you say right now. What did you what? call him? What? His, his name. Which is Fucker Carlson. Wait. Is he fucker, fucker Carlson? I, oh, that's a that's a T. Oh shoot, man! I've been reading this. Wrong. I need to get some glasses. I'm just phonetically reading. I just I didn't know. I tell you, I was huh? in my car and heard you say that the first time. I fell out. I fell out, and I went. Did I just hear that, or am I making something up in my head? I, 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 I well, forgot. I thought he was profane enough to give him the proper name Ooh. that should be on his birth certificate because that's exactly Ooh. what he is. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to call him by his birth name he, again. No, wow. that's his name. I mean, you know, it's profanity. Mm-hmm. If you have to say his name, that's you, you cussing. <laughs> that's just how I feel. Um, but now we're seeing the leaks because we know that Fox settled because they did not want to go to trial. They did not want all the, right. I mean, we, we got enough from Rupert Murdoch <clears throat> and others saying, you know, oh, wait a minute. Oh, we knew that this was, you know, we knew that we were lying, but yeah. Oh uh, yeah. No, we knew that all of the hosts were. T- so we, we know the, the facts and now it comes out uh, that the, the firing was triggered in part because of a message that Farker Carlson oh. sent uh, in this legal battle that the New York Times got a hold of. And apparently the bosses were unsettled by this on the eve of the trial. This was the thing right. that made them settle. <laughs> they were like, wait a minute, how much? A billion, nearly a billion? Okay, we, 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 do we have that? Okay, let's go, whatever Elon Musk did, let's do that and get the money. Cause he didn't have to cash in nothing to buy Twitter. But that said, um, I'm gonna read it because this yeah. to me is endemic. This like, first of all, there's, there's a couple of things. Whiteness is made up. But it is such a drug that no people are willing to kill for it. It's worse than crack. Like folk will sell their mamas. Um, they are literally their daughters. <laughs> They're going to sell all of the things, all of their possessions to be it, to be in the number. They are so excited. They make yeah. sure they move their family. 75% self-segregate to stay in this thing called whiteness. It is such an amazing drug. Ooh, we, and it's addictive. It's addictive. So even if you come here speaking Spanish, you want to be white. Even if you come here from a country where you're a Hindu or Hindi, you're, you're brown skin, you want to be white. You want to run for president. You want to be white. You want to be white so bad it is such a drug. It's also a killing drug. Like it will destroy all of your right. inside organs and especially your humanity. This thing, sure. you hold on to it. So he, he wrote this thing. It was an, uh, a text message. Just, yeah, let's remind people, you are reading this, but this is a, t- a fucker Carlson text message. People need to know this as you read it. You ready? Should I read it in his voice? <laughs> I got to go up a few octaves. You know, I got to sound like Peter Brady. But um, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to read it. He, uh, a couple of weeks ago. No, I, don't, I won't do it. I won't do it because this is very serious. A couple of weeks ago, I was watching video of people fighting on the street in Washington. A group of Trump guys surrounded an Antifa kid and started pounding the living S-H-I-T. I'm, I'm not, I actually don't right. curse unless right. I'm saying somebody's name out of him. It was three against one, at least. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously. It's not how white men fight. Keep going. Just keep. No, just, I'm going to keep going. But I just I, I just 
I just, how many people dragged Emmett Till out of his bed, that little, little boy? How many, how many, every time I look at with that out sanctuary, which is in my library and I look at it every day, there's always a mob. Goodman, Schwerner and Cheney. It was a mob. It was a mob. Viola, you killed a woman with five kids. It was a mob. It was, it was never one person. The mob on January 6th was a mob. You, right. you, of course you fight right. like this. This is how you fight. Right, right. This is, so I'm going to go. It's not how white men fight. Yet suddenly I found myself rooting for the mob against the man, hoping they'd hit him harder. Kill him. Wait, can you stop right there? Just yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. That part, when I saw that, I went like, you guys, it takes a lot to put something in a text message, like to, to write it. And he's saying, I, I mean, uh, granted, I know how this text ends, but in the middle of this text message, he's saying, I was, I saw this mob of folks beating this Antifa kid. I found myself rooting for them and wanting them to kill him. That's in print. Carry on. I'm sorry. No, I, I think it's poignant. Those two, there was one, two, three sentences. Uh, it's not how white men fight. Yet suddenly I found myself rooting for the mob, hoping they'd hit him harder, kill him. I really wanted them to hurt the kid. I could taste it. That bloodlust. Like what? I've never watched anything where I hoped somebody would kill somebody. To, the, to that point, Tyler Merritt, we're going to talk about art and, and the writer's strike and everything. I turn off when it gets too violent. Mm -hmm. I cannot watch. Even that scene in, um, who's uh, Elmo, uh, Elizabeth Moss, uh, Handmaid's Tale, when they're ripping that man to shreds. Mm -hmm. It was, fortunately, they didn't show all of it, but I, I couldn't have watched had they right. done it. Right. He, deserved every piece of his body probably being ripped to shreds for what he did to her. I couldn't do it though. Right. I'm just going to tell you, even in that moment with all of those things, and I've been in situations, I don't have it in me to right. take somebody's human life. But this man could sit and watch this and taste the pain that he wanted inflicted on a human being. Outnumbered. A boy, a kid. He he referenced him as a kid, not a burly grown man. He probably sure. looked like like uh maybe Emmett Till or Trayvon Martin or the young man that just got shot in the head, little boy. Mm -hmm. I could taste it. Then somewhere deep in my brain, not in his heart. Right. I don't right. think that exists. Somewhere in his brain, an alarm went off. This isn't good for me. I'm becoming something I don't want to be. The Antifa creep is a human being. Much as I despise what he says and does. When did you even see him say anything? Mm. Much as I'm sure I'd hate him, hate him personally if I knew him. I shouldn't gloat over his suffering. I should be bothered by it. I should remember that somewhere somebody probably loves this kid and would be crushed if he was killed. If I don't care about those things, if I reduce people to their politics, how am I better than he is? That's how he ends it. What now, percentage of people, what percentage of people, Tyler Merritt is here and everyone's listening. What percentage of people, because he's the, he had the highest rated TV show, news cable, highest rated, highest rated by far. Mm -hmm. What percentage of American population who looks like Fucker Carlson thinks and feels, well, not feels, because there's no feeling in here. There's only brain. Yeah. <laughs> only, only his brain cut on something happened. What, what percentage would you say? And then what, what's our responsibility, those of us who live in a world where the majority of people look like Fucker Carlson? We live, we live in this country, not in Brazil, not in Africa, not in India, not in China, because globally we're the majority. In this sure. country, sure. They say, according to the census, which we need to fill out, by the way, 13 percent. The majority of the people who rule, who are on benches, who are on the police force, who are in government, the majority of the presidents we've had look like this man. Should we fear? Because, you know, they, they lock their door and they get in the corner of the elevator when your ass gets on the elevator. Right. And they, you cross the street. You're the you're the danger. Oh, Chicago, not the most dangerous. Anchorage, Alaska. Look over there. Look mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. Homogenous. When I say that, I mean mostly white. 
Sure. So what's what's our response? Like, how do we react to that? Should I be scared for my life? This man sitting there with bloodlust, hoping that a boy gets beaten to death. He doesn't know him, but in his mind, he I probably would hate him if I knew him. And I could taste it. And then he came to a reckoning in his brain. Do what? Do you trust it? I just. I'm just you're talking, Karen, and I and I want to just kind of directly respond to what you you said, but I'm also having this visual of I'm trying to think of even an equivalent, and I can't really right now. So I'm just going to say, like my friend Joy Reid. I'm imagining if Joy Reid wrote a text message, and her and I text about some crazy stuff, but she wrote a text message where she said, "I saw this Trump supporter, and who I'm sure I would hate." I was hoping that he would get bit, beat down and killed and I could taste it. Like, I, I, like if I'm imagining if I, if she had sent that text message to me, like, I don't, I, I, I just, I'm trying to imagine, well, she would have even got to the place, like what would have made her think she could text that just freely to me and send it to me and put that out into the world and think that that was gonna be okay, the kind of privilege that that takes to put in writing as just a thought and to think then that you're 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 making up for what you said by going, mm, maybe I shouldn't feel that way. Cause you know what? They're a person too. Like, Some, like somebody like loves him. I'm moral. sure somebody loves him. I'm sure somebody. Child. I just, I just don't even know where to place that. Okay, so what percentage? What percentage do you think? I mean, and, and, and it's an unfair question. It's a question that I want people to think about because I could be talking to you, you know, but, uh, well, the, the, the larger you. There's somebody listening right now that may tune in. Uh, I'm just, I was just turning around the dial and I landed on you from, you know, another channel sure. one notch down and you, you got here by accident. So are we asking what percentage do we think feels the same way? Yeah. Yeah, I'm because gonna... I think we we I mean, and, and it's a it's an unfair question because then this is the thing that foments right the yeah. the narrative, but yeah. but unfortunately, this is not propaganda. Yeah, it's not right. So so the propaganda about Chicago being dangerous, black people being dangerous, black men are rapists, and, you know, birth of a nation, everything that D.W. Griffith put in that movie that that gave license to white men on horses in hoods, cowards yeah. to go and snatch black bodies up, hang them do unthinkable things to black women because there's again as we learned yesterday there's no law that's ever mm. going to convict you and you know this because it's codified before the country even formed that right. no black man can can testify against you in a court right so I, laws have I changed a little bit but no they really haven't de facto versus de jure we're still living in a <laughs> And a de, a de facto country where people understand where their privilege lies, right? And and so if that's the case, if you've had this feeling where I have the right, to, I'm right, yeah. everybody else is wrong, and they need to bend to my will, I don't know what the the reaction to that should be, other well, than ask, me, I don't I don't know. The, let me ask answer the percentage question. The glass half full part of me wants to say in the brightest of lights, the percentage of people that feel that way would be 40%. That's oh, the that's glass half. That's still that that's, damn a lot. <laughs> that's a lot uh, but that's people. my glass half, half full. But my reality, my, my thought process, uh, like my, when, I, when I think about if I'm, if I'm just trying to be honest here, when I think about like the number of people, viewers that say, just even Tucker's show has. And these are just people that are just at home sitting watching. They go, this is, I, I concur. Um, I, gosh, I would say it leans more towards, more towards the 60%. Mm. Mm, yes. yes. A, a, how many, 80 million, nearly 80 million people voted for Trump. To me, he represents all of this. And if it, and to me, if you if you, I, I I voted for him because of the taxes, you're lying. You voted mm. for Trump because he touched something in your spirit or in your brain that made you feel like he was going to take care of the things that mm. are bothering you. This is the problem with this country, those people. And this man is saying the things I feel. 
that I can't say on my job. And maybe I maybe he's giving me license to say and do, you know, Ahmaud Aubrey, what are you doing in this neighborhood, boy? You know, maybe maybe it's that, you know, and maybe you can go back to that time because I like that time when people had to right. jump off the curb where I can just tell people what the, where I could just not pay them, where I could steal their land, where I could just do things to people. I like that. My granddaddy talks about that. And man, that was a glorious time in America when white men knew what they and it, and, and, it, and it spells doom for Missy Ann. Let me just say something to Missy Ann for a second, because. You know, as you watched your husband, and I'm going back in your epigenetics, tip down mm. into to the uh, quarters, and then all of these uh, mocha color babies started popping up. You had to be silent, but you secretly also hated the women as if they had any license or agency because you also didn't have license or agency in this country. You couldn't even purchase property until the 1970s in America. Right. And yet you still wanted Ida B. Wells to sit on the sidelines while you fought for your rights. You didn't want Ida B. Wells right there. No, no mm. black women. No. Kate. So we, we, we put Susan B. Anthony on a damn coin and, and Katie Stanton. We don't tell the history. They didn't really care about the rights of black women. And so you are always in proximity to this power because it's going to be through your son and your, and your, and your husband and your daddy. And so you're always going to protect that 54% of you. Right. So I, I just, I don't know in a world like this either, Either everybody gets held accountable or something's got to change, right? You know, which is the accountable part. But I'm not, I, you know, I'm going to say less. 866-801-8255. You know, somebody's got to, you got to answer this question, you know. Uh, and and if you are not, again, if you're on the sidelines, wait to see how it's, I, I don't have a stake in this, you know. Am right. I, I don't, I'm not, I don't have a racist bone in my body. I don't see color. I don't see color because you don't have to. Right. Right. Good for you. Good for you. Mm -hmm. well, we see you. 